what up, world? And what up, Aurora, Colorado? Yeah, that's what we got in front of us. Welcome back to Bruce with Beck, or welcome to Bruce with Beck. I'm Dan, and how the hell are you today? I am amazing. Oh no, I'm just just short of amazing. I'd say I'm decent. It's pretty good. Anyway, um, I want to say thanks to my buddy Chip. Um, put this in front of me. Uh, this brewery is from Aurora, Colorado. They are uh, Dry Dock Brewing. And I've got the pleasure of tasting, I think it's seven of their beers. So I wanted to, because these needed to be drinking uh, sooner rather than later, I kind of want to do a taste test comparison between these two different IPAs. Um, one is called uh, Drift A While, which is just a, a, it's double dry hopped, regular IPA. As far as I can tell, you know, it's a little, little unfiltered, obviously not, not, not super West Coast, but I didn't get a whole lot of details there, and there's not a whole lot of details on the can except for that it's double dry hopped. Um, and then we have got their uh, dry dock hazy, regular hazy IPA. Uh, let's get the Richter button. I almost forgot it. So, the hazy for, from Aurora, Colorado, in Aurora, Colorado, is 6.3 for the hazy. And uh, a flat 7% for the uh, Drift A While um, double dry hopped, slightly, looks like slightly unfiltered uh, IPA. So a little bigger on the percentage, looks like a little thicker right here. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to kind of do a comparison. So uh, let's get into it. There's not a description on untapped of what Drift A While is supposed to taste like. I'm going to make my own uh, assumption or what the hops are. Um, the hazy is supposed to have aromas of passion fruit, pineapple, and fresh squeezed OJ. So it does look rather thick, uh, but it looks like nice ch chalky uh, pineapple juice. So looking forward to it. Um, yeah. What up, Atwater and No Sean, Bro Sean? What up, Buffs, PGA Tour, FedEx Cup, uh, and Dry Dock Brewing out of Aurora? So. I'm going to start with the higher percentage one. I'm going to go with Drift A While to start out with. What, what, what do we get from Drift A While? Right off the bat, kind of lemon, lime, citrus. Let, let me get, I forgot to get the uh, aroma checker. Maybe like a multi citrus. Little, little pine, like, nah, maybe like floral, not not so much piney. Little bitter and uh, lemon lime. Clean. Uh, little grapefruit peel. Okay. Um. I had to guess, I probably, like, if I didn't know what that beer was, good old Drift A While, I would have probably guessed, uh, yeah, I probably would have guessed right about seven, so I would have been uh, pretty dang, pretty dang on point. Uh, but yeah, it's clean, it's good, it's got a little floral and uh, grapefruit peel to go with some lemon lime, uh, citrus, and, and, and crisp, all right. No words or emotions. Let's get to the hazy IPA from Dry Dock Brewing. Okay, a little bit more. A little oaty. Not sure if it doesn't say if they put oats in there, but. Yeah, bready and oaty. Um, Yeah, I got a little pineapple. Um, I'm not really getting the fresh squeeze to OJ that they're, they're saying. I mean, may, maybe as it keeps going down, but. All I know is it's body. I mean, the body on this, like, this is way smoother and, like, as you can tell just by the, you know, by how they both look. This one is a little bit more, um, you know, yeah, just, I don't want to say easy going down. Um, 
full fuller bodied, less on the kind of um, bitter and citrus than than uh, you know the the drift a while. Um, let me taste this again. Little malty with the citrus, okay. But it's nice. I mean, I didn't know what the uh, again. It's double dry hop, right? Yeah, double double dry hop. So I I couldn't if I if I was bl blindly tasting that I wouldn't know that it was double dry hop. It just kind of tastes like a nice. I don't want to say basic, but you know, kind of unfiltered. Um, not New England, but unfiltered uh, West Coast IPA. with some uh, malt and citrus. Uh, body on that is probably like, uh, 25, maybe 30% versus this bad boy, which again, 6.3 on the Richter, so less alcohol. Yeah, that's just kind of, not so tannic, uh, acidic going down your esophagus, um, because I'm guessing they did either lact. I don't think lacto. They would have said something about that. I think it probably does have wheat or oats in it to make it a little bit more coating to your uh, your stomach. But um, no, both. Have, I, I I mean I'm not gonna lie. Prefer this one because of more of a New England style, and this is definitely more of the New England style. There's an ever so, so slight edge of pepper, um, oats and uh, pineapple, and maybe just like a roundedness of like, like a, like subtle peach and mango or something like that. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure if I get the the uh, orange. So anyway, it's kind of what I got. Uh, it's the I, I wanted to uh, let me get that out of the picture. They uh, I figured I'd do a side by side on both of these to you know, go kind of a West Coast versus a hazy. Um, let's do a rating on both of them. So, from Stellar down to, oh, hell no. Let's go. This will be the number one beer, the uh, Grift a while. Um... Okay. I'm gonna give the drift a while. Reasonable. There you go. Drift a while. Probably give it like an, uh, you know, 86 out of out of 100. And uh, let me see. For my more of my style again, nice ease. I mean, drink those all day with my buddy Mike in Northridge. You know. Love it, but oh yeah, if I recall right, nice little sediment at the bottom. Yeah, little kind of floaties of sediment. You know what? I'm gonna take a bigger sip because still kind of have the you know when you do side by sides different tastes. I got to make sure I really know know which what I got in this one. Okay, no, that's pretty good. I mean, I like it, and don't get me wrong, these are probably both a good couple months in the can, so I'm sure if they were fresher, I uh, might bring out a little bit more, but I'm not really sure if it would change too much of my grade, but for the hazy, I'm going to go decent, and I'm going to give that hazy either a 91 or a 92, I think. Does have just a, that nice little hot pepper that that, that I dig. Uh, body on this is more to forty percent, fifty percent. And if I, uh, I'll tell you this: if I was drinking this blind, I would have guessed, based on what just 
usual hazies like this New England like this tastes like uh, I would have guessed like six you know six point seven percent so it have been a little off uh, six point three is you know a little lighter than I usually drink but it's great so uh, yeah you know what uh, yeah I'm gonna give it a nine uh, give that a ninety two nice uh, a minus but uh, both quality beers I am a happy man drinking these side by side so you know boom. Thumbs up to both of them, 86 out of 100, 92 out of 100, so, you know, kind of a B to a B plus, A minus, um, Drydock, if you hear me, I, I, I think I've had one of your uh, barrel aged stouts before, but I can't remember because it was during quarantine, um, I forgot to log it in on Untapped before I started my channel, so, anyhow, uh, going long, but that's what... Uh, some ladies like anyway not not so many ladies are watching this probably mostly dudes just guessing so what up fellas uh all right i'm gonna end it big shout out to dry dock i got more dry dock coming i got other beers i gotta finish here but uh good side by side comparison so um enjoy your cold drinks we'll see you out there peace